A Durham company is involved in the war in Ukraine in a very unexpected way. They're providing Ukrainian hospitals with blood vessels grown in their lab to treat trauma patients. WRAL's Durham reporter Sarah Kruger says the company is hoping they'll soon be available in hospitals around the world. From this building in Durham to the battlefields in Ukraine. There are multiple patients who are walking around now uh, who would not be walking around if it weren't for our, our product. Laura Nicholson is Humicide's CEO. She explains her team in RTP is growing human blood vessels in a lab. It's work inspired by her career as an ICU doctor. When we need to replace or repair a blood vessel, either because of disease or because of injury, the most common thing is to sort of rob Peter to pay Paul. In other words, take one vein out of one part of your body, cut your body open, take that vein and move it over somewhere else. That's not always easy or even possible. WRAL was invited to see where the possible solution is made. To get inside took about half an hour of meticulously sanitizing, changing into scrubs and putting on protective equipment. Our starting material at Humicite is human cells. They're not plastic, they're not synthetic, they're not animal tissues. These are human proteins and human tissues. The blood vessels being made here are saving lives in Ukraine. The company's hope is that eventually they will be available in hospitals around the country and around the world. So if a surgeon has something that they can pull off the shelf and use as a new human tissue to repair a blood vessel, that could be a game changer. The company is still in clinical trials in the U.S. and hopes to seek FDA approval later this year. Sarah Kruger, WRAL News, Durham. Now, Humicide has been around for 18 years. It started off, though, with three employees and has grown to 170. The CEO says at least 19 of their blood vessels have been used to treat patients in Ukraine. This